Well, hey everybody, and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today, we are going to be making pan-seared Brussels sprouts. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. All right, if this is your first time watching this show, or you just wanna learn how to make awesome, awesome food, or maybe start your own cooking channel right here on YouTube, then go ahead and click that little button in the corner that says subscribe, and then click that notification bell to be notified each and every time we upload new material. All right, you clicked on this video to watch me make pan-seared Brussels sprouts, so let's head into the kitchen and see what our ingredients are. Well, here we go with the start of the show. We got our Brussels sprouts, of course, some bacon, an onion, a cheese blend of Parmesan, Romano, and Asiago, walnuts, and some lemon. And we're going to saute it all up in some olive oil. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get some salted water going so you can boil your Brussels sprouts in and just blanch them off for a little bit. Now the second thing I want to do is I want to kind of peel off the outer layers of these Brussels sprouts to get the loose leaves off. And then I want to just clip off the stem. And there you go. All right, I've got all the stems cut off and got all the bad leaves off of there. You will have some of them fall off. Make sure you are using fresh um, Brussels sprouts and not the frozen kind because those will just turn to mush. Now I'm doing these first because we're gonna be working with a raw product here with the bacon and I wanna get this onion next, but we don't wanna have to get any cross contamination going. So I'm doing all of the produce first and then we will do the bacon last before we start sauteing that. These are ready to go. As soon as the water gets boiling, we will dump them in there and get them blanching. All we're gonna do now with these Brussels sprouts is we're gonna simply cut them in half. That's what you're gonna have. That's gonna to hold together real nice with a quick blanch before we fry them in the oil with the bacon and the onions. All right, all the Brussels sprouts are cut in half. We're gonna throw them in the bowl. Water is not quite ready yet, but let's get on to the onions. I'm just kind of doing a rough chop on this. You can do the onion any way you want to do it. You don't even have to add onion, but you can dice, mince, um, julienne, however you want to do it. I'm just trying to do something that's almost the same size as the uh, Brussels sprout, just to add a little bit to the dish and help that enhance the flavor with the bacon. So there we go on that. I am just going to be using just a normal bacon right here for this. I don't know if it's applewood smoked or hickory smoked. It wasn't labeled in the freezer. We just froze it up and threw it in there. But if you want to do a pancetta, that's great. But if you can't afford a pancetta, a little hint is to add maybe some peppercorns, a bay leaf, and some juniper berries to this bacon while it's cooking to make it taste like a pancetta and have that same profile as a pancetta. All right, our water is boiling. I am just going to take our... Brussels sprouts, add them to the water. I'm gonna let them blanch for around two minutes. Then we're gonna hit it with the spider, pull them out of there, put it back into our bowl, and have them ready to add to our bacon and our onions. But first, we're gonna add some oil to this pan and get our bacon and onions sauteing. All right, a little oil to the pan. Is that our bacon? Meanwhile, our Brussels sprouts have blanched to the point where I want them to be soft enough. And we're just going to put them right into this bowl here. Where they're ready to go when we need them for the bacon and the onions over here sauteing right now. Go ahead and add the onions. We're going to cook this down to where the onions are soft and translucent and the bacon is crispy. Now while those, that bacon and onions are cooking, I'm going to take our walnuts here and I'm just going to crush them up and just rough chop them because this is going to add a bit of our, of course, nuttiness to the dish, but also add in some layers of texture, by the way, of crunchiness that will complement the chewiness and the crispiness of the bacon as well. You can see here the bacon starting to crisp up. The onions have got a nice caramelized brown to them. I'm going to go ahead and add 
our Brussels sprouts. So we have blanched off in boiling salted water. Turning the heat down just a tad. And I'm just going to mix all this together until I get some color on our Brussels sprouts. I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of our lemon juice. Uh, lemon zest is probably best for this too. It binds it up a little better with the zest and it adds a little bit of integrity into the meal as well by the way of another ingredient. But the juice works just fine because we're just going to add a little bit of acidity to it. Alright, this is cooking nice. Getting a little color on those Brussels sprouts. I'm going to go ahead and add the chopped walnuts into this. Stir it up, let it cook some more. All right, well, I'm going to let this just get a little more color to it on the Brussels sprouts, and then we are going to plate it up. We're going to take a ton of pictures of it for social media. I'm going to take these pictures and throw them on the timeline of this video with some groovy music. And then we're going to try these out. Cue the music. Ready to taste these, but first I want to give a little shout out. Uh, the first time I had these ever was about a week ago when I was staying at a courtyard by the Marriott in uh, Brown Deer, Wisconsin, which is north of Milwaukee. Uh, they had these on their bistro menu, and I went down and ordered these with some wings and some flatbread, and they were very, very good. They were an appetizer. This is a little bit more than an appetizer here, but they were very good, so I thought, hey, I'm going to give these a shot too. But uh, compliments to the ladies down there in the bistro at the Milwaukee North Brown Deer Courtyard by Marriott, north of Milwaukee. You guys did an awesome job while I was staying there, and I appreciate everything you did. All right, I'm going to switch out to the the uh, I'm going to switch out to the tripod so you guys can see me take a bite and give a review on these Brussels sprouts. All right, here we go. Got a little bacon, a little Parmesan uh, blend on there and some onion with that fried Brussels sprout. So now I'm gonna give it a taste. Mm. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Those are really good. You can taste that bacon in there that's crispy, the smokiness of it. Parmesan cheese kind of melts around everything. The Brussels sprout's nice and crispy, but yet cooked. Uh, that lemon brings out a little bit of acidity in there that kind of ties everything together. And that onion does what an onion does which is enhanced the flavor of everything that is in the dish. Well, thanks a lot for joining us. And don't forget, I've got some fantastic links in the description box below that you will find beneficial in a lot of different ways. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this channel a big thumbs up. Leave all your comments right down below. And then share this video with everybody, everybody you know. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you again right here on It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Bye-bye.